Hi, it's Mike at Phase One. I've got an exciting product to show you today. Now, normally, I won't do speaker reviews on videos because they're a little bit difficult to do because you can't hear what I'm hearing. But let me tell you, you need to be hearing what I'm hearing. Today, we're going to have our first look at a brand new product from RCF, a brand new product in the art range. We've had Art 3 series, Art 7 series. Say hello to Art 9 series. A brand new cab that's been designed and built from the ground up. And it is one of the best things I've ever heard. Let's get into it. Right, so there's quite a lot to talk about here today. And you know me, I like a chat, but I can't remember anything. So I've got me a bit of paper with me. Right, so in the range, we've got a 910, we've got a 912, and we've got a 915. Now, you might remember, 7 series, there was some more cabs. There was a 732, a 735, and a 745. They've done the same. I haven't got those cabs here today. So we've got a 932 in the range, a 935 in the range, and a 945. Now, let me tell you, the 910, 10-inch 10 driver, 1.75 compression, high-frequency horn. Yeah. We've got the 912, which is a 12-inch. See where I'm going with this, can't you? And this has also got a 1.75 compression driver for the HF. Then we come across the 15, which is the 915, which is, again, a 1.75 compression horn. The other ones in the range, which we haven't got here today, is the 932, which is a 12-inch with a 3-inch compression driver for the HF, which will cross over even lower than the other, the other ones. And then we've got a 935, which is a 15 with a 3-inch with the same crossover system. And then we've got the, the big one of them all, which I can't wait to hear that. I haven't heard this, this one. I haven't heard any of the 932 or 35 or 45. So I'm really excited to hear these. But the 945 is a 15 with a 4-inch compression horn with a crossover point even lower. So there's plenty in the range. So there's lots to talk about here today. There's going to be some tech specs and stuff like that. So I've got me a bit of paper. Next, we'll have a look at the back. And let me tell you, there's some new technology to tell you all about. Right, one of the first things we'll talk about. This is a plastic ABS cab. And this ABS cab has been designed from the ground up. What you'll get, and a lot of purists will say, oh, wooden cabs sound better. But do you know what? You're right, right? Because you'll get a bit of a vibration with an ABS cab. This cab has been designed and rebraced on the inside so we lose all them vibrations. RCF call it Embrace. I like that. I like the band as well. Right? So this is probably going to sound as good as any ABS cab could sound. Right? Because it's not just they've gone and made a box and stuck a speaker in it. You know, what you've got to understand is this has got new amping, new drivers, new horns, new technology. So let's build a new box so it's a nice abs box this is all rubberized we've got rubberized grips here either side on the 10 we only have a handle on the top with it being a smaller cab that should be all you need so we've got two handles and a handle on the top it's the same on the 15. now let's have a look at the front of it what you'll notice again 7 series and 3 series completely different look we've gone for a very what I would call a corporate looking box. It's a pro looking box. It looks nothing like 7 series or 3 series. Nice clean look. Even down to the point is that the, the, the logo on the cab was always in silver. It sort of punched out a bit. No, they've not gone with that. They've made it look like a nice one colour box. Giving a very clean look. You know, speakers to look at aren't usually the prettiest of things. You know, but they've dulled this down. I think they've made it look like more of a, a corporate box, a professional box. So that's the cab. It's a 35 mil top hat that's inside. So it's just a standard speaker stand. So it'll go on all your speaker stands. And coming to the back of the unit, which I'll flip this round. And we'll do some close-ups. And we are going to take some pictures as well. We've got IEC in for the power. Very simple. We've got a Combi XLR. So Jack XLR. And we've got our presets, which I'll talk to you about in a second. And we've got our volume and we've got our XLR out. It's a very simple setup. Does this have loads of DSP settings on it? 
No, it's got a couple of settings, which we'll talk about in a minute. But I know you get a lot of cabs these days that you can dial in this and set this and set that and the other. I'm not a big fan because, to be honest with you, I'm not the greatest sound engineer. I just need to know when I get a cab out the box and I plug my mixer into it, it's going to sound good out the box. And I think one of RCF's things is we'll tune it, we'll make it sound right, we don't want anybody else messing around with our DSPs. And to be honest with you, fair enough, because when if you give a DSP thing to me to set, I like you to make a right hash of it. So this is just going to sound great out the box. Right, so let me tell you about some of the technology that's gone into this. Like I keep telling you, this has been done from the ground up. It's been rethought, reinvented, re whatever you want to call it. This is a brand new addition to the art series. And there's a lot of stuff gone into this. The driver is a brand new driver. It's a brand new compression horn because there's some new technology in here. RCF have been uh, leaders with their fur phase technology. Now, fur phase, oh, I always have trouble explaining this. I've actually watched quite a few videos from RCF and it's quite technical. Shall I just tell you what I think? It just makes it sound better. They've even put it into their aero range of studio monitors. And to be honest with you, hands down in the shop, across the monitors, it just sounds better across all the ranges all the frequencies are delivered at the right time. So fur phase is in this new box, even though we did see the fur phase technology in the previous model, seven series. And it's in three series as well. But we've progressed with this fur phase technology and now we've added base motion control, which has really changed the game again. So this new driver and compression horn has been designed around bringing them two technologies together. What it also will give us is the dispersion on this particular cab will give you 100 degrees rather than on the other one, which was 90 degrees. Both of them are all the range have got a 2000 watt, 2100 watt amplifier. And with this all, te all this technology coming together, we are getting even higher SPL readings. Now, what we'll do is there's quite obviously a lot of technical information that we could be going through here, but I will put all the SPLs for all of the cabs in the description to the video. So, what else have we got here now? We've got our base motion control. Now, let me tell you, when I've listened to this, when I listened to that 12, if you'd have put a blindfold on me, I'd have said that was a 15. It, you could do the Pepsi challenge. If you'd, when we'd listened to the 10, I actually thought it was a 12. And um, you, you, one of the things, I'm not going to put these speakers on in this video because it's pointless. I'm not going to be able to reproduce the sound through your computer. But what I would say is you need to get down to your local dealer or to my shop, which would be even better, and come and have a listen. The 15 just blew my mind. It really did. I'm not a big fan of a 15-inch cab. I never have been. But that, if I decided in my life that I was never going to use subs again and I just wanted to go out as a DJ and use a pair of 15s, that's the kiddie. That's the one. That's the nearest you're going to get, in my opinion, to being able to go out and DJ without subs. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, if you stick some big subs on the bottom of anything, it's always going to sound better. But what these cabs are actually producing is just mind-blowing. And it's all to do with this new fur phase technology, which we've been using for quite a long time, and this new base motion the bass that you get out of these cabs is just ridiculous. Right, so like I told you, a lot to talk about here, isn't there? Uh, just coming to the presets that we were talking to you earlier, there's a little button on the back, and it's basically, there's only three presets, because that's all we need. We've got linear, which is a flat sound. We've got boost, which will give us our boost. Great for us DJs, we always like to get it on boost. And the other one is stage. So if you were gonna have it laid on its side as a stage monitor, dead easy, the three presses of a button. Now what will also happen is if you've got it set say in, let's say we put it into boost, if we turn that off and turn it back on again, it remembers its last instruction. So it'll just come back on in boost. Now the other thing I'd like to mention is I've got that up turned to full. And normally when you get a cab, 
or a lot of cabs, when you've got it turned up to full, you will get a definite hiss. It's just the sound of the electronics. It's, you know, when you put, you put your music on, that's going to disappear. But you will get a bit of a hiss if you've got something or turned up full blast. I'm hardly hearing anything. And I've got my microphone there. And that cab is on at full tilt. That's impressive. That really is quite impressive. So, in closing, what do I think? I think you can tell I like it. So we don't need to say that. 9 Series, this is going to be on demo at the shop as well. Um, we don't know which cabs will be on demo. It'll definitely be a 912. And I think we'll probably have the 910, 912 and the 915. But if you come down to the shop, it's, it's like the RCF showroom. I'm a bit of an RCF fanboy, to be honest with you. Um, really, really, you know, if you want to be into some RCF and you're up in the northeast or up in the north end of the country, come and see us. Because I always say, you know, sound is a difficult thing to buy on the internet. Um, you need to come and have a listen to these so I couldn't encourage you more get yourself to the shop if you want some more information on pricing and you want some more information on uh, the tech specs anything I've missed out or anything like that click the link in the description to this video and it will take you through to our website where all these things will be listed individually so that was our first look at the RCF 9 series and I think we can safely say I like it you need to get yourself to phase one and have a listen. Cheers. Hold up though, just before you go, look at all this other lovely RCF that we've got on demo here at phase one. Yeah, we've got a lot of RCF on demo. We've got three series, seven series. We're gonna have nine series. We've got all the J8s, we've got J mix. Just come and check it out. If you're looking for an RCF product, I can help. If you like that video, click the subscribe button. We're always doing reviews on sound and lighting. It's Micah Phase One. Cheers.